good stuff as well. And you know, talking about it being nice outside and hot and uh, wanting to go to the lakes this weekend. Um, I think everybody wants to do that. But of course, things are going to be a little bit different this year. You yeah. know, it's not yeah. not quite the same, uh, you know, and everybody's itching to get out, but we need to keep our distance anyway. Uh, Kelly Hubbard had like the best assignment all day on the valley today. She was out on the beach and then she was on the dock <laughs> and we're like, and it was like 72 degrees all morning. Good so it was absolutely her. beautiful. So uh, we're going to check in with her to, to get an update on what you can expect if you're heading to Lakes Country for the 4th. The lakes are going to look very different this year. An officer I spoke with at the Detroit Lakes Police Department says this year is going to be a strange one. 2020 is the first year he can recall where there is going to be no fireworks show. Now the colorful displays may be called off, but restaurant doors will still be open. If you're venturing from the North Dakota side or need another reminder, restaurants and bars are still following Governor Tim Walz's guidelines. Zorba's told me they're one of the many enforcing a six foot distance. Restaurants and bars must operate at 50% capacity and not exceed 250 people for indoor and outdoor settings each. You're going to need a reservation and masks are required for workers. If you plan on walking around to different retail shops, Governor Walls says they can operate at 50% with a COVID-19 plan in place. Becker County Sheriff Todd Glander tells me that tons of people have already made their way to Lakes Country and there's going to be lots of traffic. So plan ahead and slow down. If if you're going to be on the water, wear a life jacket and follow CDC guidelines staying six feet apart. Sheriff Sheriff Glander says people have been doing a great job so far and also adds that patrols will be on the lakes in Otter Tail River this weekend. Lastly, authorities want you to keep in mind that you cannot use or possess fireworks in the state of Minnesota. If you do so, you could end up with at least a $150 fine. In Detroit Lakes, Minnesota, Callie Hubbard for North Dakota Today. See what I mean? I was so jealous of her. Every time I checked say. in, I was like, how beautiful does it look on the water there? Uh, the only thing I, I was waiting for there was just Callie to be like, here I am, Callie Herbert at Detroit Lakes. <laughs> mic just drop. Just do a mic drop, yeah. The <laughs> only bummer was that Sorbus wasn't properly open yet. Oh, yeah. She'll <laughs> yes. hang out, though, I'm sure, exactly. <laughs> uh, good stuff. So, But lots of, you know, reminders, uh, a lot of changes, and, you know, especially for all of us North Dakotans thinking, oh, I'm going to head on into Minnesota. You know, you got to kind of check point, ahead, yeah. plan ahead. Much you know, different over there. Definitely things are different. Over uh, there. Like it's over there. Way distant, over there you know. if you're going way across <laughs> yeah. to the other <laughs> side of the Red River. <laughs> I know. It shouldn't be that different.